and here we are again at Compulsion 2013. Uh, in front of me here is Jane from Waverly Care. Um, she's gonna the Waverly Care, I should explain, is the Compulsion charity this year. And it would be great for you, Jane, if you could explain what do Waverly Care do and sure. why they're such an awesome charity to be supporting. Brilliant, um, no problem. So Waverly Care um, is a charity in Scotland, and we work throughout Scotland. Um, we support people who are living with HIV or Hepatitis C, um, which. As you can imagine, it's quite interesting work. There's a lot of stigma surrounding both of, of these viruses yeah. um, and people who are, who are living with them find it difficult to tell their family and friends and come to us for support. Yeah. Um, we've got offices in Edinburgh, Glasgow and Inverness. Wow. Um, and we work throughout the whole of Scotland. So we've got projects in Argyll and Butte, projects in Inverness, projects in the Borders and Fife. Um, we're currently actually um, recruiting for a new post in Fife as well to work out of the clinic there, so there's quite a lot going on. Cool. Um, we've got a residential unit in Edinburgh where um, people can come and receive respite care. It used to be originally that was where Waverly Care started um, and it was the first AIDS hospice in the UK um, back, back in the dim and distant. Um, 25 years ago. Oh, just next year. Next year is our 25th. Three. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what age I was. <laughs> um, so it started off as a hospice, and obviously the the care that people receive there now is completely different. Um, yeah. Then it was all about helping people to kind of basically die and helping them um, pass on information to their family and you know helping kids deal with the deaths of their parents and, yeah. and all that sort of thing and um, nowadays um, it's it's completely different and we do a lot of outreach from from there and um, we run groups and we do respite care so people if their health is um, poor or they just are not coping in their house or whatever they can come and stay for short periods of time okay um, and out of um, our offices in Broughton Street, which is not too far from here. No. We run community projects, so our Children and Families project is based there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just been the Easter holidays, so uh, we've is had, it? oh yeah, we've <laughs> had a herd of elephants upstairs. They were, um, on Friday they had an, uh, an arts worker who was doing singing with them, oh, cool. Annie, um, the sound of music. It's great stuff. Nice. So we run that. Um, we've got peer support groups. We do yoga classes. We've got um, alternative therapies. We've got really loads going on. Cool. So you, you sound like a, a quite a big charity. You managed to go from just being this little hospice <laughs> yeah. to, to Scotland. Yeah, so. we've, we've, we've grown a lot over the last few years. Um, because we've taken on Hep C work, there's quite a lot of crossover. There's um, people are co-infected with HIV and Hepatitis C, um, and obviously there's a larger number of people living with Hep C in Scotland. Um, there's about just over five and a half thousand people that are um, HIV positive, but the numbers for Hep C are are very much higher um, but it's something that not a lot of people know about yeah. so we've got a prevention service that runs out of Glasgow and um, that's relatively new and we also do support um, mm -hmm. so yeah we started off quite small and we've grown dramatically in the last few years which I guess goes to show that the need is really yeah. is really out there um, and obviously we've kind of expanded our service geographically as well um, to take in the rest of Scotland when it started just in Edinburgh. But I mean, overall, we're still a relatively small charity. <laughs> There's about 50 staff throughout the whole organisation. Um, and from a fundraising perspective, we've got two fundraisers and an assistant and an admin person. So it's a relatively small, small team, yeah. um, which is really important because a lot of the work that we do is funded through the NHS or um, statutory bodies. But everything, as, as, as it always goes, there's always that bit that needs shored up. Yeah. Um, so we, we fundraise about £400,000 every year, um, which will go to specific parts of the organisation that don't have any other funding. So at the minute, our Children and Families project is completely funded um, by the fundraising team and yeah. all the people who are here at Compulsion and are giving giving us money on the bring and buy stall or whatever or, or getting soup from Union of Genius, all that will be coming to, to help fund our children and families project. Um, our advice project as well is, is entirely funded by us um, and part of our self-management project. So there's there's lots going on and there's mm -hmm. as well we're putting money into all other areas of the organisation that kind of need topped up. Yeah. So yeah. it's really important that we get to kind of go out and speak to people so that 
we can raise awareness of what we do and, and um, help fund fund our work basically not only just fund your work but let people know that you're there yeah it's it's so important and it's great to come to an event like this and speak to people we normally wouldn't speak to yeah. um and just have visibility and have people curious to what what do we do yeah. um our name is not really synonymous with hiv it doesn't it's not yeah. you know you wouldn't know we, we don't have anything to do with trains or paddle steamers um, <laughs> which some people think we do. Um, so it's good just to come and, and be able to chat to people and yeah. just raise a bit of awareness and it, every little bit helps to decrease the stigma surrounding HIV yeah. and Hep C. Yeah. So um, you've given us a description of you know how, how important the money is to mm. you. Um, if, there, if there are people out there who are watching this video and they go, I want to find out more about Waverly Care or yeah. I, want to, I want to be able to donate to Waverly Care, they sound like a great charity, how can they go about doing that? Um, they can visit our website um, and in fact we've actually we've got two websites running at the moment. One is our, our own website which is waverlycare.org. Um, and if you go to that, there's lots of information on there. And if you're worried about HIV or Hep C or you just want to know that little bit more, mm -hmm. there's um, lots of info and advice available on the website. It also will tell you about all the different projects that we run. Okay. Um, it's got a donate button. Nice. If people want to give us, please do. Um, the, button, the button is there. They'll also find a link on the front page to um, a campaign that we're running just now. It's funded by the Scottish Government and that's called HIV Always Here mm -hmm. um, and if you click that link on the front page it will take you to another website which um, is something that we've done with people that we work with. Four people have made a video, each of them, um, which telling their story about living with HIV. Um, we're running it on our stall downstairs just now at Compulsion. Um, but that, that website has got a lot of information and it just, it's their story and their own their own voice. Um, it's it's really interesting just to hear the different types of people mm -hmm. because there's so many kind of assumptions around yeah. HIV and hepatitis C and yeah. the sort of people and there's a lot of judgment so anybody that wants to know a bit more I would say go and have a look at those videos and it will open your eyes a little bit as to the sort of people that we do work with um, and there's loads of other information on there as well and I think there's about 12 11 I think it is stories in total that you can read wow. um, of our service users so it's, it's really interesting to hear what they've got to say and how their lives are yeah just like ours really yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly the this same. is the point exactly the same yeah awesome well thank you very much for your time today no problem and, um, remember uh, if, if you're listening the charities are important and this is one of the main things that compulsion is about it's about helping charities it's a help about raising awareness about these things that are going on around you every day that you're just not aware of. So get on that website now. So thank you very much for your time. No problem, thank you.